So they were taking on religion and culture and everything it does to deny us orgasms as women. Or lives as, as people. I yeah. know. So I think I had the religious upbringing that blocked and they try to put the guilt and shame on. And I think you dealt with the same body image issues and gender role issues that all women do in the culture that oh. keeps you from feeling good about yourself. Totally. Absolutely. It was like I was haunted with not having the right kind of body. I was always overweight. And I didn't, ha I, I had little bitty old tits. I didn't menstruate until I was 16. <laughs> you know, I thought, I'm really a boy. And I, you know, maybe I should. <laughs> maybe I am a boy. Maybe I am a boy. I like, I prefer, I, you know, I like to hang oh, out with boys. That's... No, it was awful. It was awful. I, as I got older, I became involved in fashion. I became a fashion illustrator, an artist. And like I. Like a moth to the flame. <laughs> oh, and I bought every latest everything. And did a whole lot of stuff around makeup and hairdo, got on my high heels and suffered. And now I looked like a million dollars and they wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> and you, you went, couldn't, fuck, you couldn't walk to... down the street without some jackass hitting on you. <laughs> so the transition out of that was art school because I fell in love with art. Art was my, was my meaning, my calling. It was my true love. I was going to be a meaningful, great, brilliant artist. And then I discovered sex. <laughs> <laughs> she got a little derailed. <laughs> Actually, it's all part of the same thing. I, everybody's like, oh, you can't not do art because of the... It's everything we're doing right now is art. It's the highest, so. it's the highest art that I could think of. Sharing it all with you. This is our new art form. I'm on board. And for the religious upbringing people out there, yeah. you can't get go of it. For me, I, whenever I had a negative thought, Anything like I was going to do something and it, that thing would creep in, you know, like, you know, just being sexual is so hard because you're taught that if you're, you have sex before you get married, you're going to hell. Like, that's what they tell you. You're going to hell. <laughs> uh, yeah, I never even knew. Well, I heard about it, but. And so what you do is you would go out and you'd like kiss someone or you do something sexual and then you would come home and you feel bad. Oh, I had that. Yes. Why do we? I had that. That's from the culture. That's the slut stigma. Is the same thing as the religion. Oh, well, I've been through all of that. I get it now. And you can't let go of it. And so what I would do is when I would have that feeling or a negative thought, I would imagine the thought like pulling it out of the top of my head. And it was a big blue box. I don't know why blue. And I would stick it in there and I'd put the cover on it. And if you stop your thoughts and you stop yourself from thinking, like going into that negative spiral, you can stop it. And you can get to the point that you can be a dirty slut like me, and you don't even think twice about it. <laughs> be a dirty old slut like me. But, and this is the technique that you just described is, is promoted for any kind of an addiction, because I used that when I came off cigarettes. Really? Actually, I think culture and religion are hand in hand. It's like no one allows the individual to seek who they are, and that's what we're about. So seek who you are. Get rid of it. Turn off the guilt and shame. <laughs>